In this video, we got a gameplay on the new Amethyst Damian Lillard in NBA 2K23, my team. And just to say right away, I think this Dame card is one of, if not the best point guards in the game, including that level 40 Diamond Kyrie. Haven't got to test out or see that card yet as I'm recording this video, but this Dame card, man, I've used a bunch and he looks like an absolute demon. 90 overall point guard, shooting guard, six foot two, but this card is just an absolute beast on offense pretty much unguardable he's got a 93 pointer 90 mid range 80 driving dunk 86 ball handle so offensively amazing stats wise yes the defense isn't going to be great only a 45 block 45 steal does have a 73 perimeter and i will say he's a huge liability on defense but so is a majority of the point guards at this stage of my team like Kyrie's not going to be a great defender either you know the other top tier point guards just aren't going to be great defenders but this card's going to be so amazing on offense that he really does make up for it and then he's got 84 in the speed category with the 87 vertical like this card is actually very underrated at going to the basket badges wise two hall of fame including deadeye and spot finder and that deadeye you do notice a lot he can green some ridiculous shots from the three-point arc contested i've greened some like 60 percent coverage 50 percent covered reds with this dame card he's also got 21 golds which is nice like that's a ton for this time of the year right giant slayer pro touch agent three blinders green machine guard up limitless range i mean this car can shoot from anywhere on the court it feels like he's also got 16 silver badges and then five on bronze so this dame card guys i'll quickly show you guys in freestyle you know what he's looking like jump shot wise and animations wise but he feels like the best offensive card in the game like i said haven't used that kyrie irving card yet so maybe he'll ch he'll change my mind and maybe be the best offensive card but the thing about dame he is electric at going to the basket. Like he gets some crazy poster dunks. He feels really solid at actually attacking the basket. He doesn't feel like a liability. You know, sometimes like I feel like I feel like a Kyrie might be a little bit weaker going to the basket. Might get some good layup packages and layup animations, but not going to be dunking the ball. I feel like as as good as Dame. And the jump shots just money. Whatever jump shot timing you use. You're probably going to really like it for Dame. One of the easier jump shots to green right now on my team. Really good off the dribble. He's got that, I believe, the push cross, right? Like that move, which is really, really quick. Great at getting to the basket with. So all around, Dame a beast. Want to get you guys this gameplay. You know, and show you guys, should you be locking in that Damian Lillard set? It's going to cost you a lot of MT. Don't get it twisted. But I mean, if you're looking for a top tier point guard, can't get really much better than Damian Lillard. But now let's go green one more three. And let's get on to the Amethyst Damian Lillard gameplay into the clutch time online game here with the amethyst dame and we're out there running on the break here in clutch time i mean this card guys is just an absolute beast offensively i might show some screenshots from me playing on unlimited i literally played against the number one player on xbox right now at least on the leaderboards as look at dame going to the rim getting that layup to go but yeah we went to two overtimes i posted on my twitter you know of the actual game stats like the box score and stuff dame had 42 points and eight assists on really good efficiency like this card can give you 40 you know every single time and unlimited like he's just an absolute cheat code you know on the offensive end clutch time probably not able to drop 40 this early in the er, this early in the game mode cycle but i mean he's just an absolute beast on offense got to get him going at the three-point line didn't mean to really go up with that i was trying to pump fake so i've been using him mostly in unlimited so it feels a little bit different in clutch time but good defense there from dame able to hold his zone and we actually get the paint stop against nate thurman so that's what you love to see i mean dame's not a terrible defender we gotta look to get my boy damian lily here on fire in clutch time we know we can just let this thing fly from the three-point line in nate thurman's face and it does not matter that hall of fame dead eye badge i'm telling you guys on Hoff, you can green those 13% coverage easily every single time if you know his jump shot. Like, I'm just absolutely in love, you know, with his releases. Look at Giannis on them boards. Try to find Dame out there running in transition. Gonna get the ball stolen. Is that like Dame's turnover? I guess it probably is. Not sure if we had a full possession of the basketball. But, yeah, you guys saw that three in Nate Thurman's face. A great defender. A Hall of Fame Deadeye. 13% covered. It does not matter. Yes, you're not gonna be able to green that actually every single time, but... The only card in the game that I've seen consistently able to knock down contested threes, you know, maybe even like contested four pointers, is this Amethyst Dame. Another three letting it fly. I mean, you just can't leave him open. I really want to try out Kyrie because I feel like Kyrie is like the only other point guard I can think of that's going to really come close. Like, I know Jerry West is good. Uh, Joe Dumars is actually really solid as well. So there are some good point guards for sure, you know, in the game. But I just, I don't see how you get much better than Dame at this stage of my team because. He's just so good offensively. The only way I can see somebody being better than Dame is if they're 
you know, equal to Dame on offense or very close, but then like an elite level defender. That's the only way I can see a card really outclassing Dame. And who is that going to be? I just don't really see too many point guards coming out in the future. Like, yeah, Curry might be cool, but he's not going to be a great defender either way or anyway. And, you know, Dame can probably give you just the same amount of offense. So I think Dame's going to be one of the best point guards in the game for a while. It, as long as we don't get those like six foot eight or six foot seven PGs with quick releases like a Lamello or a Cade, you know, Diamond or Amethyst. Like as long as we don't get those type of point guards, which I don't think we will with, with the pacing of my team so far. But look at Dame with that acrobatic finish. Could have take, taken the dunk there, but, you know, wanted to go for a little bit of flashy of a layup and able to get it to drop. So, yeah, as long as we don't get those tall overpower, you know, meta point guards, you know, for a while, I don't see Dame really being outclassed. I mean, right now in the game if we're not counting Kyrie I think he's the best point guard if we're counting Kyrie I think that's where the debates to be made once again haven't used the Kyrie card but Dame trying to go to the rim he's good at finishing at the basket I will say but he's not like a Russ right like that Ruby Russ card is unbelievable going to the rim like he feels like he never gets blocked or stopped at the basket very similar to his pink diamond trophy case card of last year so he's not going to be like a Russ driving to the rim but he can definitely finish at the rim at a really high level and we're struggling a little bit here uh, in clutch time. Not really off to the... Well, we are off to a pretty good start, but midway through here, kind of starting to slow down with Dame. He still does have 10 points. Haven't shot the most efficient with this card. Want to get some more three-pointers up, but I'm still getting used to the game, so I'm not going to be able to show, like, crazy, like, 30, 40-point performances in clutch time. You know, try, trying to do it as much as possible. I'm definitely trying to drop as many points as possible here with this Damian Lillard. It gets another three ball to go up. That's a four-pointer, actually. And yeah, that's just what Damian Lillard can do. And the biggest thing that I haven't shown about Dame is actually when you get takeover. Because when this man gets that sharpshooting takeover, I mean, you better watch out. We got another three here with Dame. Like, he's just not going to miss wide open. If you got a wide open shot with Dame, I mean, it's just very hard to miss unless you get a load up animation. But those don't seem to be happening that often right off the dribble. So, I mean, this card's ridiculous. I know he's expensive. Now to quickly talk about, you know, is this card worth locking in? Because... The only way to get this card is not off the auction house it's not free the only way to get this card is by locking in a set that does you know, eventually lock in for that diamond shack and the legendary path set so if you want to go for the diamond shack definitely go ahead and get dame you're going to have him for a while he's going to be a top tier point guard and then eventually when you want to get that diamond shack he's one of the six cards you'll need so i think first off if you're one of those players like all money spent or you just want to be grinding you know for that legendary path then for sure i mean just look at dame Faden on the break, 22 points, probably has takeover now. I mean, this card's just ridiculous, man. He is just really ridiculous. But yeah, so if you guys want to do that, then I think for sure get Damian Lillard. We're just going to, you know, we're just going to let it fly. I think I missed that. I did miss that. Didn't really feel too hot off the hands as uh, my opponent's going to throw that ball out of bounds. But like I was trying to say, I think if you're an all money spend player or you want to go for Diamond Shack, 100% go ahead, spend the MT or VC and go ahead and get Damian Lillard. Now, on the flip side to that, though, if you guys are not an all-money spend player, not going to be dropping hundreds and a lot of money on the game, is Damian Lillard worth picking up right now? It's tough, because once again, a really good card, but he's going to cost you a lot. you got Iguodala for 52k, you got Lamar Odom for 70k, so you're looking at over 120k right off the rip. Then you got all the rubies, or sorry, all the sapphires, like the Glenn Rice, the Wesley Matthew, uh, Matthew Matthews you got the emerald so it's going to be a really expensive set so I don't think for majority of the player base that it's worth picking up Damian Lillard now once again just like I've said for like a Lamar Odom gameplay and a lot of gameplays I've done and will do in the future like a lot of these cards are amazing like Dame is insane and he makes unlimited and any game mode super fun to play but I just don't think he's worth the MT at this point so I'd save your MT Look for some more budget options that'll be coming out in the future and that are here right now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the Damian Lillard gameplay. I mean, I thought I played okay. I, I mean, I could have had takeover a lot earlier and maybe had like 30 plus points. Like this card can cook even in clutch time with only five minutes. But let me know your guys thoughts on this Amethyst Dame card. Are you guys going to be locking him in? Do you guys have him? What do you guys think about this card? All the type of stuff. Let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.